Okay, so uh, we're just now leaving the hospital, and uh, Chuck had another round of paracentesis today. He was at the doctor on Friday and feeling good, got a good report. I wrote a little report about that in my blog, but by Saturday he was feeling poorly again, and things were starting to accumulate. So we went back today to have the paracentesis done, get some fluid drawn off. At first, we didn't think, well, he w the doctor wasn't sure if there was enough fluid to be drawn off, but it turns out he had eight, how much? Eight, flu eight liters off? Yeah. We took, they took off eight liters, which is just one liter less than the very first time he had it done, so. Really? Yeah. Nine liters was the first one. So, uh, today they took off eight liters. He feels a lot better. And uh, they changed his medication again, or at least the dosage of it anyway. And the diuretic is going to work on the fluid within the abdominal cavity. Uh, we just have to be real careful with the salt and with the phosphorus. When he runs out of phosphorus, we can see a big difference in, in, in the body. So for now... Phosphorus is what the cells have when it gets replaced with for now, we got another dose of uh, another bottle of phosphorus supplements. Got the liquid off, and we're going to watch the salt really carefully. So it was nine, well, seven, seven weeks, seven weeks since the first paracentesis, and now today is November the 22nd, and uh, this is the second. They don't think they'll see him again until January, and of course we're hoping that we'll go longer than January by keeping it all under control and everything. But also, uh, what was I going to say? My mind just drew a blank. <coughs> I was going to say something else. Though. Okay, I remember now. Um... We were talking about how people live with this this situation, the cirrhosis of the liver, the accumulation of the acidic fluids in the abdomen, and literally for years, uh, people live with this. They they are, they have people that go in for the paracentesis once a week. Some people go in once a month. Some people, you know, it all depends on what stage of deterioration their liver is in. So with a healthy diet and being very careful to watch the salt and the liquid intake and you know just by the grace of God hopefully we can keep it under control and this doesn't necessarily mean that you know he's gonna pass away from this anytime soon he could live with this for you know years to come so in a way that was encouraging you know, it, it means you have to make these adjustments and live with the illness, which, you know, kind of a bummer, but it's better than dying. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's the report for now, and uh, we'll talk to you all later. And one more thing I forgot to mention was his weight. Uh, Friday, he weighed 213 pounds, and here it is four days later, Tuesday, um, after they took off the 8 liters of fluid, he is at 195. So I estimate he's still carrying overall at least another 10 pounds of fluid. So maybe his weight is about, his regular body weight is about 185. But he lost 18 pounds in the past four days having taken this fluid off.